everyone welcome back to another counter side video so today's video we are talking about the update for tomorrow september 8th before we go into our free to play day 11 showcase so for those who are here for the update feel free just to um end where i feature the update then i'll continue to the showcase for my free to play account so let's start with the uh, update for tomorrow maintenance will happen tomorrow so it's going to be from 7 a.m to 9 a.m september 8 2021 gmt plus 7 so it's going to be for two hours guys so let's be patient for this i wish that they would move back again i think the previous maintenances were from six to eight I hope they would move to that so that uh, players could play this as earlier as possible. But again, 7 to 9 is not that bad. So let's take a look at... Um, so all servers, compensation is going to be Quartz 300, Eternium 1000. And again, as confirmed, this is going to confirm my leaks yesterday. So special investigation event... Um, event shop special investigation again recruit for number two is going to be recruit new recruitment yangjin lanchester probability up so this confirms her launch to the game next is going to be recruitment Ainz and zue young harim probability up so again both again young young harim and Ainz and zue are going to be back for an, for for a rerun on their banners then a new item for the shop, new basic training growth package, advanced training growth package, salary negotiation growth package, and employment contract package. So also is going to be company reinforcement punch in. So another set of punch and rewards for us. Six is going to be danger close settlement period. So it's going to happen tomorrow. And on number eight, all of the consortium have been waiting for this. It's the consortium co-op battle and co-op battle begins okay tomorrow i'll be putting out a kind of first impression or slash guide on consortium co-op so please um uh, wait for that tomorrow and at number nine um we're getting a 20 percent off gear enhancement tuning okay this is nice so i'm assume i assume that the discount would be with your credit so i hope that they that the gear themselves have a discount but again um, this would be good as well. So please refer to events for more details. Okay, maintenance compensation will be sent by email. So check it within three days. And that's it for the update. So what does this, you know, what what impact does this update have for your free-to-play play, free to play players? Okay, free-to-play and beginners, um, more or less, I would highly suggest if you still don't have Ainz and Zue or Young Harim, you might as well try to pull for them because they're more core in terms of the game. You can use them both for PvE and PvP, while for Yen Xing, Lanchester, you can only use her for PvP unless you're really into Yen and you like her as a waifu and her design and obviously her, her what they call this her costume then be my guest so but again in terms of practicality sake i'd like to suggest to beginners and free-to-pay players who don't have um Ainz's way or young harem please prioritize their banner okay so as far as i have been in 11 days so um i'll take you to almost all that i have accomplished so far so been doing counter pass world map i'm actually at uh, three three bases already so uh, three cities at level four four and three so as i reach i'm going to reach 45 then another city is going to be built i'm waiting for the new banner so i have lacking or i lack a lot of recruitment contracts i only have enough for for two 10 pulls but again um i'll i'll check tomorrow if i'm going to extend because i still have quartz but my goal for tomorrow is going to recruit for Ainz and Zwei because for me i really think that they would be a better fit um right now at two cost they're one of the best um but i might consider young harim as well um 
um it really it really depend guys on what is your account um circumstance now based on the two of them but for those two of them you you know you can't go wrong uh, either you go with young harib or einzen's way so so far i have been doing okay with strategy clearing it um so far uh been very good but with rank battles i have been struggling a bit because i have seen now you've been actually in the lower ranks and there are a lot of there are a lot of beginners or free-to-play players who already have awakened units while i ha i don't have one so this is going to be much of a problem for me moving forward but i'm looking forward to awaken heal this banner either awaken heal day or i'm looking forward to a unit's banner again to recycle so We'll see, we'll see. But for now, I'm still struggling with this. But this is not important for me. As free to play, um, PvP should be the last on your mind. You need to you need to farm a lot of you know a lot of content moving forward because again, we're going to run out of resources, which I'll talk about later. I'll feature my squad. So these are my you know the squads that I've been built so far. So so far, these are my main squad. Uh, most are uh, some are at 90 already um, some are near 90 this, this is my secondary squad so again i really lack um reliable units that is why i'm i really want to have at least um Einstein's way or young harim tomorrow so that i could bolster my you know my roster i actually need a support more than i need a what they call this a striker but we'll see we'll see i do already have uh what they call this clip here so there's going to be a giveaway for all players who start the game. So Glipnir is already at 100. So I'm using Glipnir for operation. So mainstream, I'm up to episode four. Supply operation, I'm actually currently, what do you call this? Farming the stage for gears. So this is actually where I farm my gears now. I'm going to be stuck here for a while until I get good gears for most of my team. Because this stage gives you P5 molds already, and this gives you uh, what do you call this? This gives you not that one. This gives you gear, which is tier four outright. So again, this is a good farm. Uh, sorry, good stage to farm for free to play for beginners. Um, I'll worry about this when I open this soon. That is it for supply operation simulation again. Do not forget to farm this daily um, because, again, you eventually you'll be lacking this one. Currency for... You'll be lacking this one. Prime training data and the basic training data. So as for... I'm, I'm going to segue to my challenges. So the challenges that I have right now is basic training data, prime training data. I really lack those. Um, also, I really lack ATP cores, which is this one. So um, you need to be able to farm these. Th these are the ones I lack. Eventually, I'll have a problem with this as well. Farm this daily. Um, if you have crystals, you can actually buy this currency. But I would highly not recommend you doing it, especially if you're free to play. So let's 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 finish first my progress, my account progress. So you have side story. I'm here up to Kang So Young already farming her stage. Um so that got, I could get her for free. Challenge, I'm a bit okay. I am actually stuck here for for the most part. And counter case, don't forget as well, because once you reach uh, once you level up your heroes that you're using, you'll be getting a lot of extra what they call this extra um, items for the game you have binaries here tuning binaries you have quartz you have deployment contract and you have special appraisal as well so free contract i actually just opened it up until task three to open up um supply operation and for the event i'm actually um done with this i'm just mining uh, more resources for this one because i have to get more atp contracts for my units next we'll go to the shop aside from simulation you actually can farm them here so for your gauntlet this is where you should farm them already so i have purchased this already it's sold out 
Then you still have mech and soldiers here if you're into those units. This one, seasonal gear, not this one, not this one. So gauntlet point is going to be your friend when farming for, for ATP cores and also your prime training data or training data. So um, also here in your event, Again, I'll mention to you guys that we have ATP cores here as well and this ticket for selection. So also you can get items, very good items in today's deals. So I'll just buy this. I tend to buy all of this because I have a lot of gold. So these will come in handy in the future. Um, try, to re try to refresh this. Um, um, take out the count. For this one, this is going to be good. The classified in employment contracts, you can buy those for quartz. This one, you have to buy that for gold. So the recruitment stuff, you can buy quartz as long as you have them. Let me just finish this up so that you could see what are the available items here. So again, you could get your basic training data here, which I'm looking for. So farm this every day, buy this every day. I'm sure at this point, you also have a lot of gold. Um, this is this worth it at 270 um, probably yes probably no but I'll skip that for now so er, you buy oh, sorry, not that one so also this for your ship ATP cores ship material so I'll just finish this guys so that I could be done with this by later so again I plan to build another ship so more or less, I just need to farm materials again. Visit the shop, guys. There are a lot of good deals here, um, especially here in today's deals. Resources, no, don't buy. As for here as well, at this point, if you don't have enough crystals, don't buy here for now unless you really need it because simulant, simulation tickets are going to be here. But again, I would highly, you know, advise you not to buy um, them here because uh, this is quartz. And if you're free to play, then you really don't need to buy them here. Um, background is good. You can actually buy the background. So buy as long as you have extra credit because I have 8 million. So it's pretty much going to be okay. Okay. For your, again, for your planet mail... Do not use your task planet points on any of these items. Do not. So do not use them here. Um, save them up for your operators. Again, this is just a reminder for you guys. Raid items, if you have them, you can actually purchase because this you can actually get this token. Dive. Dive is actually going to be a good way to farm for tuning binary and for ship parts they're also here um for your challenge what is worth in your challenge is going to be your equipment so again save it for equipment they're actually you, you'll need e6 gear eventually consortium consortium is going to be a good source as well for your um prime training data and your basic training data so i bought them um as as early as now in this stage um you may also buy these in the future as you you know you have more consortium tokens or coalition tokens this is also good for your operators as well and for business cards um i suggest you um buy this one and this one if you're struggling in leveling up your what do you call this your your units and also, this is going to be a good package if you have enough business cards and the lifetime contract as well. So I usually finish them off this off when I go to the business cards. So just a quick, um, what do you call this, sample of how to get your business card. So um, when you already have rare, uh, rarity or R, if you're going to delete them or recycle them, they're going to give you business cards. So if you don't need them, um, you can actually recycle them. But if you need them, please don't. Because like, for example, for Cho Ho Jin, I'm saving her up because she's in the counter. Counter, what do you call this? Um, she's going to be, to be in the counter case. 
So, <laughs> how forgetful of me. Um, anyway, again, you can convert R up. So, what can I convert here so far? I don't have any extras. These are uh, Tommy. Th this one, I'm going to convert. This one, I don't usually use them as at this point. If you want to save for the others, you can save them. So once you delete them, they're going to be converted into credits and into uh, business cards. So you can spend it there. So again, I, I'm going to do this at this point only. Probably going to have more extra units in the future. So again, this is where you get your business cards. Okay, so so far for those who have stuck far in this video, um, please do consider subscribing. Also, click the bell icon so you don't miss any counterside videos. Also, don't forget to put a like to this video. Thank you guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.